to your favorite podcast, Full Coverage, with your hosts, Laura Lee hey, 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 hey. and Manny MUA. Hey. Manny MUA, if Manny you're nasty. Manny MU gay. <laughs> yeah, or if it's Manny, Pride Month. <laughs> in June. In June is Manny, Manny MU gay. gay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could not agree more. Yes. But you guys, you already know. You get those Pride sponsorships, baby. I'm, where are they? I want where every month to are, be June. I know. I know. And Hispanic Heritage Month. Baby, I don't even got a month. <laughs> I don't got no months. That was a, yeah, you do. Oh, women internet, but they ain't sponsoring nobody. Huh? Oh, it's International it's Women's just, Month, but I mean, like, we don't, <laughs> there's no sponsorships for being a woman. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Lord, this is crazy. <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying. They don't I know, give sponsorships I know what you're for saying. that. Sometimes, like, so it's, but we're I, saying this because sometimes during Pride, they, they, brands will pay a little bit more attention to the LGBTQ community. A lot and, more attention. Uh, they uh-huh. wake up. They're like, oh, yeah. <gasps> oh. oh, yeah. There's that. We should, we should throw some we money throw, at that. Yes. It's very much that. So that's mm-hmm. why it's just funny how, like, during that month, it's like, oh, my goodness. Don't forget to work with the gays. I'm Manny and you gay. I'm Manny and you gay. And I am a queer I hope you guys are enjoying the ASMR because I'm eating a Rice Krispie on a podcast. I mean, honestly, at this point, we were desperate. The level okay? of unprofessionalism on this podcast. Far too much. It's nasty. But the thing is, <laughs> we had ordered. We ordered food, but like, honestly, it came from the wrong place. It came from a Chipotle in Simi Valley, which is very, very far from where we're at. I don't know how it came from that Chipotle. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. So I, we're I did place the order. <laughs> I place the order. Mm, we are desperate currently, and I just had a rice krispie treat and a kind bar. Yeah, because we had to start. Yeah, we had to get it going, uh-huh. and I'm still finishing off my rice krispie. Support from today's episode comes from One Skin. One Skin is the world's first skin longevity company. By focusing on the cellular aspects of aging, One Skin keeps your skin looking and acting younger for longer. Get started with 15% off using code FULL at oneskin.co. That's 15% off oneskin.co with code FULL. After your purchase, they'll ask you if you've heard about them. Please show to support and tell them we sent you. Help your skin stay younger and healthier for longer with One Skin. Thank you so much to Liquid IV for sponsoring this portion of full coverage, you guys. One stick of Liquid IV with a 16-ounce bottle of water hydrates you better than just water alone. No artificial sweeteners and zero sugar. It also has eight vitamins and nutrients for your everyday wellness, and it's non-GMO. However you hydrate, grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code FULL at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code FULL at liquidiv.com. But anyways, we're going to do a rapid fire. We're going to talk about Love is Blind Reunion. You know we got the tea on that. We're going to do TikTok ban. Kate Middleton's missing. So much more. J-Lo getting wrecked on TikTok. (laughs) Oh, my God. There's a lot going on. And I just, you know, I love the hot topics. I love the hot topics. I love the hot topics. You know that. Um, So with that being said, let's start with Peaks and Pits. Manny, give us something. Okay, my peak is going to be today that is Friday that you guys are watching this. My launch is live. (laughs) I'm so excited. So, so happy and excited that finally my Moon Shroom collection, I can talk about it. It's nice to just be able to like, this is the short collection, highlighter palette, color palette, three glosses. So excited. Did to you get any out. comments about the poopy? Did I? The full fam is everywhere. Did I? <laughs> I had like literally like 600 comments. My master plan works. <laughs> and it was like, it was like the shit emoji. It was mosquito. <laughs> it was a mosquito and ants like, <laughs> It was that. It was. It was, there was like the IBS collection. It really was the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen, and I love. See, this is why it's so funny to talk about things behind the we scenes. We have our inside jokes. With we full have fam. inside jokes, and I love it so much. And I, it's so funny because I'm imagining people that don't listen to full coverage that follow me, and they're seeing the jokes, and they're like, "What has this?" Has and my assistant literally yesterday because she goes, um, "I have a question. Why are people commenting um, <laughs> shit emojis all over the post?" <laughs> And I'm like, oh, so it's like an Your assistant's like, I'm blocking everyone. No, no. And I told her, I was like, emoji. no, because she was like, someone said that was the IBS collection and it like offended me. And I was like, no, no it's no. it's not. Inside like joke. it's actually an inside joke. You don't have to like delete it. Like don't respond to it or whatever. It was really, really funny. So I'm just excited. It is now officially live. I'm really, really stoked about it. 
You can use code Laura Lee. What's to save all, some coin. Hold on. What's all in the collection? A color palette. How many shades? 18. 18 shade color palette. Dang. It's built out like my nude prism is. So, you so the, the entire shimmers. middle row is shimmer. And then it's the 12 mattes. And then we have a highlighter palette with four highlighters. I'm wearing the blush highlighter today. It's literally... Some of the prettiest highlighters I've like ever ever done. Like, oh truly, yeah, sh- they're amazing. They look incredible. Um, and then I have three glosses. So the glosses are hot fire. They're too. incredible. And I did one. Do you remember like I did a video about a while back, and it was like about Lunar Beauty launches I never came out with or things yeah. that like were like just fails. That what that gloss because people liked it so much <gasps> is in this collection. Oh my god, mm, it's called Soul, and it's like a bronze gloss. Name. Okay. Uh-huh. A bronze right. glass with gold shimmer. So Bet. I'm really Bet. excited. It's fucking cunt. Like the whole entire collection. And is, is it a thing. bundle so they can save money? Uh, it's bundled. The whole collection has a bundle and then a gloss bundle and then everything oh, else individually. So you can just get the glosses mm-hmm, if, if you, you want. want to do the gloss bundle. Mm-hmm. And everything else individually. So uh, if you guys can use Laura's code, affiliates codes, or whatever, if you want to do individuals. I know your account gets blown up. Mine is too. Whenever uh, codes don't work on bundles. So I just want to clarify that because uh-huh. I know it confuses me. And it's funny because I always say it. <laughs> <laughs> every video I do, like every like review, like, like codes, don't work, codes don't work on the bundles. You guys, like you're buying a bundle. They it's because the bundles, bundles are discounted, mm-hmm. and it's like it's too much of a to lose. Yeah, if you were to do affiliate yeah. on top of um a bundle, bundle like fifteen percent off plus an affiliate codes discount off, it's too much. Like brands tend to like they would probably lose money in that situation. Do you know what I saw a TikToker? Um, post and they were ba- they were saying because you were talking about affiliations and mm-hmm. they were basically saying like anytime um, a TikToker or an influencer posts any type of link I make sure to click the product that I like go around the link re Google the product find a different link and then check out like they're like I spend a lot of extra time to make sure the TikToker doesn't earn any money because influencers right. are rotten and who gives a fuck and I was You're like lying. that's really amazing that you spend that much time. For the influencer who told you about the product and like showed you the product uh-huh. and bought that the product really themselves loved that from the you product. love from the product, I was like, "That's awesome!" And you should keep doing that. But if there's ever a point in time in your life where you're hustling, trying to make things happen, I hope people go out of their way to make sure they don't help you. <laughs> One thousand percent. That's what you're doing. That's what, you're doing. That's what like, you're doing. I hope that no, it's so, okay. This is what I imagine. I imagine like let's say a car salesman, <laughs> and they they showed you the car. They fucking sold you the car. They were obsessed with this car. You and you're like, "Oh my god, I'm totally buying this car." So you go to another sales associate. You're like, "I want to buy." this car to make sure they, the they don't get any commission to mm-hmm. make sure so it's like yeah that's literally do that like do that. i get it like if you don't want to put if money in influencers absolutely. pocket and you don't trust them like honestly do that but the way the universe works is when you're trying your hardest <laughs> they're gonna slap you it when comes you're down. right back uh-huh. around it, it'll always come back around like it that's does. just the reality of life it really and it's does. like if you really i mean i will say it's funny because like we were just talking about this so sometimes i'm like if i see like a commission linked on tiktok i'm kind of like <gasps> Yeah, because I know you're trying to Sometimes sell me something, trying, so to, I, I get yes, it. Uh-huh. And that's why I say, like, at the same time, I wasn't even mad. I was like, I, was like, I get it. Like, I mm-hmm. get it. Like, mm-hmm. I would never go that far. Never. Ever. If I wonder, I'm buying Maybe it. I'm clicking the link me and I'm too. buying. Me Because I recently am doing a TikTok shop video. And, mm-hmm. like, so I'm going through and buying all the stuff people are trying to sell me. Yes. And I'm using their affiliated links. Of course. I want them to make money. Mm-hmm. Great. Especially like, if it looks cool. I'm like, okay, great. You sold me. Yeah. Like, Amazing. I hope you make money mm-hmm. off of it. You're working. You're I hustling. Just, I, I, I buy things from TikTok shop. I'm not going to lie. Like, sometimes they will absolutely get me. And sometimes I'm like. Yeah. I Sometimes I feel feel like you're trying to get me and then mm-hmm. that's when i'm kind of like okay i'll like kind of scroll and stuff like that because i'm like okay i i get what you're doing and i'm like go you like grind make your coin but i'm not interested Sometimes right i'm now. not interested mm-hmm. you know in in, mm-hmm. in the grind yeah so. well see that's why me and you always said like whenever tiktok brought out tiktok shop um and it was like bamboozled with people trying to sell Oof. shit because they were promoting that of we course. weren't even mad at the influencers it's it's tiktok that was putting it on our timelines and we said that we said that you know we understand like make your content trying to get your coin but tiktok was the one choking it's the us one that's with choking it. with it. they and picked the algorithm if it's like one every like 20 videos no one every problem 10, no Girl. It's like one every oh, no, three course, videos. No, it's, not. it's like one if every it three. If it was that, then it would it, you, it would be like, oh, it's not becoming a QVC vibe. Yeah. But it sadly well, kind of did. not have to worry about that really anymore. TikTok's not going to be around. Stop. 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 Wait, what's your peak? I don't remember, but I know my pit. So I figure I'll start okay, there. Do it. Do pick. Um, my peak is in my phone. I have to look it up. But my pit is. um. So, okay, listen. I posted this video of like I hit my gate. And I have a Porsche, so that sucks because it costs a lot to fix is what Mm -hmm. I'm saying. When you sent me that video, I I said, said, we're the same. I was on my way to the beach to get my run in. Uh (laughs) And you're like, and guess what? I'm still going to run. I literally just kept backing up. I know you did. I was like, well, Well, scratch is going to come with me. (laughs) 
<laughs> but um, anyway, so it was funny because I texted Ty. I was like, damn, I hit the gate or the gate hit me, babe. I thought the gate hit me because I'm looking down at my reverse camera like this driving out and I feel boom and I'm like what the heck and I look up and the gate's like crushing me I, was I like, know you're like I was. I was like fuck and I, I was like the gate fucking just hit me and then Ty just sends me the video of me clearly hitting the gate I said the gate hit you Laura that's right the, the gate attacked you that's a lot of my I will say the gorgeous, gate has a mind of its own it, thank Low key. you Thank okay, you. I've been in situations where I'm I'm going out and then it starts going and I'm like fuck 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 Lord Lord Lord. The sensors on it are finicky and they that's are. basically what happened. So the gate, I press the button, I watch the gate till it got about halfway uh -huh. and I start backing up like right. I always do. So I'm looking down at my backup cameras and mm. I'm thinking naturally my sensors in the car would start beeping if something, something. was going to start to hit me. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking down, I'm backing up and I feel the boom. The gate malfunction and it came back if you watch the whole video I, mm -hmm. you see the gate open and then it starts to come back which it shouldn't have done that right. it should it have sensed going. my car there mm -hmm. so the gate actually did malfunction but i just didn't look up because my sensors didn't go off on right. my car it should have it's started like, beeping also like from a random spot though like you would you would think it would be from the front and the back but from the side like back side mm -hmm. it's a weird spot like yeah. for it to hit yeah that it might not like go off from there yeah you know the sensors just malfunction because the gate shouldn't have been closing when my car was backing out because they hit the exactly. front of my car oh it was the front the front so the whole oh. car was out of the driveway basically it just got the front uh, boom uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. so i put it on tiktok anyways i thought it was funny because i was like i told my husband you know i hit the gate hit me the gate hit you and he it's just sent me the video he was laughing his ass off though ty never really gets mad at these situations yeah. and plus like the other side of my bumper anyways has a big from has a mm. big scratch from me hitting a curb i did oh. hit a trash can last week with my car as oh. well did i tell you that no oh my god you didn't watch my vlog you nasty boy <laughs> what laura don't you fucking start with me <laughs> i wrecked my car into someone's trash can i forgot laura, to tell you fuck? i was driving to get a facial and i literally didn't see this trash can and it hit my side mirror went boom and i was like and my side hard? mirror was all the way turned in it like broke it yeah that was last week <laughs> This week, so it's on. Wreck. So, so it's what's been next wreck. week's wreck? Um, I don't know yet. Yeah, we'll, you know, we'll decide. I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. thinking, but um, yeah, I gotta get that bumper fixed anyways. I'll let y'all know how much it costs me, so Ooh, you I can feel the pain. It's gonna, it's gonna be nasty. It scratch because the house. I when I took my car to Porsche, remember I was whining, yes. so I had to get all the little things yes. fixed. Yes, yes. I told them not to fix the bumper because I didn't want to pay for it. A hundred percent. So now I'm gonna have to fix it because now it's like, double dip. Yeah, now it's worth now it getting like, fixed. I should. I was just like the Porsche. Listen, I'm I'm gonna beat it up a little bit more. You're like, wait till it gets a real scratch on it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pay to replace like, it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, let me get a few more hits on this um and fender. Then I'm bringing and it then in. and then I'm gonna bring mm -hmm, it in. And mm -hmm. then it'll be worth the money to fix. Absolutely. But anyway, so I posted on TikTok and it was all fun and games until it went viral. And it, so no. the search bar on it is cars of TikTok and it went straight oh, to straight men. Shit. And they're like, I would never let a woman drive a Porsche. Your husband no. should have never bought you that car. Your husband should never allow you to. I, this is how I talk when I try to talk like a, a, misogynist. a misogynist. Your husband should never mm -hmm. burger. With three brain cells. Three floating. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Too much credit. Two, one. 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 You got too much credit. bouncing around like this. Yeah. Just bouncing like, like this. Like a ping pong bong, ball. Bong. Just ding, ding, That's all they ding. got. That's all they got. Wait. So then it, started, it became like a. It became a, women, a misogynistic women thing. Women shouldn't be able to drive nice cars. If you were my wife, I would divorce you. Baby. Honey. You couldn't even afford to look at it. So what you talking about? You about to divorce it, honey. And but by the way, about you got the car yourself. I bought the car when I was in my 20s. Exactly. And I will you bought it. it. I bought it. With I your bought money. the car. I, and I'll buy three more and wreck them if I want yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. And stay mad. Yes. And stay mad. That's crazy. And I'll post it too. That. So it went to car TikTok. It went to car me. TikTok. But I will say the women are not letting them down easy. Good. They're eating them alive Good. i can't say much because i'll get cut out of the creator tiktok program oh you're so right so you know i can't be going in i have to keep it also i don't care like to argue where's drew where is drew where we is drew? Need drew right now but i can't go in because i want to stay in the tiktok creator I program know. and it's, i don't want to say annoying. what needs to be said there i know and if i have to be nice i'm just not going to say anything it would, it's just better that also way. i just like honestly it's funny like i don't care <laughs> 
Like at this point, who cares? It's a massager's man who only like, cares about okay, a car and, they could never have. So and like, okay, cool. And it's like, who? I can't believe that she would wreck I such a nice car. car. I would never let my wife drive this. You would never you have, have a wife. wife. Laura, why are we at one unit? <laughs> You don't even have a fucking you, wife, you bitch. Would never you can't even go on a date. That's right, baby. What you talking Losing about? Ass, bitch. You, you know what? what? I'm gonna go in the comments. About? I'm gonna go in your comments and shred. Lord, <laughs> <laughs> imagine this. <laughs> but most of the comments are women being like, "That fucking gate hit you, boo." It, that it attacked that you. gate attacked you, boo. <laughs> that was my first comment. I was like, "It looks like it attacked you to me." Ugh. Fucking bitch. I know. Well. There's, there, it's gonna be. I can't wait for us to find out what the cost is gonna be. To I fix will that. report because I'm scared. I'm actually scared too. I'm actually I am quite scared. scared. They're gonna be like, your car's totaled. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna need y'all to buy some fucking oils. <laughs> yeah. Today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna need you guys to um use today. my discount code with that launch <laughs> to pay for this car. We're gonna need <laughs> some fucking oils bought. Um, my pit. Give it to me. Okay, so I, I finally got results for Zaya uh. for her. A biopsy and it's like obviously not great but it's not as bad so i'm so could happy. be so worse could be so much worse she has hepatitis and it's like very common in small dogs because apparently it's just like a small dog thing like they could easily get it it could be a, it's more so genetic mm -hmm. so she might have just had it forever and it's more so activated now yeah but they tested for the reason they do the biopsy is so they can test the like liver properties so, like is there copper in it is there like cirrhosis mm. like what is the layout is it inflamed that's why they do these like the punches um and so luckily she just has like hepatitis and there's no copper there's no like like a uh, deterioration thank god where it's so it's now it's more manageable where you just like do like more like anti not antibiotic but anti-inflammatories and things like that so it's annoying and it's frustrating, but at least there's no like cancer. Oh there's my no, like, god, anything I too know. Severe, and I'm very grateful and I'm very blessed. And like this could be like low key a peak, but it's still a pit because it's like absolutely ridiculous and crazy. But um, we, at least I have answers, and it's nice to know. So what is it like medication? Yeah, medication. The, what they're gonna do right now because it's it, it's such a mild form of hepatitis, which is oh. even better, is that um I'm doing for six weeks. She's on like a little mini anti-inflammatory. Okay. And they're gonna do blood work mm, to, to see like how it. the um to see because you know like that's what started it was like the high uh, liver lipid panel uh, the lipid panel. So they're gonna see like is has the lipid panel dropped, and then you're kind of like okay, well this could be uh, great for her to do like a very small small. I'm talking like the pill is maybe this big and then I break it in half. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what she like is oh, taking right now for the next day. six weeks just to see like what it is. And if not, if it's so high, then we can kind of change up her diet. I love so, that. Okay. It's nothing to, like to, Nothing obscene, like drastic. Nothing like drastic. The treatment. No, thank God. It's really very light and she's acting completely normal. Everything's completely oh, fine. Thank God. So um, I'm glad it's that, but it just sucks in general that she has even like a little anything. I don't want her to have anything. Yeah. But. I thought I'd fill you guys in that finally. It took literally we like three, four weeks. We finally got answers. Four weeks to get to That me. was a long time. Mm -hmm. That was a long time. It said seven days, Laura. Oof. So, of Oof. course, I'm freaking out because I'm like, why is it taking so long? Is there is there worse things happening? Yeah, like y'all can't figure it out. Like, or well, like, like, what, is like, it what, major? Why is the lab like f taking so long, you know? So I'm glad that it's... Well, thank God. Thank God, they praise did. Mm -hmm. Um, My peak on a brighter set of things is the time change. Oh, yeah. Honey, we have sunlight. Mm -hmm. I literally rose from the dead. I'm like, it's my time the, to Laura's live. like this. <laughs> literally a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice. It's, it's my really time to nice. get rowdy. I mm -hmm. love this time of year. And then also, I watched the movie Anyone But You because it was so highly recommended How is to it? me. It's really, really cute. Okay, it's I'm really, I have to watch it's it then. Oh, you will We're love it. I would live. Love it. It's actually pretty funny too. They have some pretty funny mommies, but it's really cute. Um, Sydney and Glenn remind me of Matthew McConaughey and Kate Hudson. <gasps> no, I, yeah. I've actually seen people I feel saying like, like they're, they're that the new version of they them. They are. No way. They are. Because that was sure. magic. For then sure. Back then oh, was they magic. were magic. Magic. So I wonder if it's like that's the version. Yeah. Of now, and they said that they want to do another movie together soon. Yeah. So I feel like they're gonna be the new rom com cup couple. I would love. Have you seen like the um all the Madam Web like hate? Yeah. How Sydney's in Madam Web. Oh, so she's yeah, made state. Right. She's made statements of like, you know, um, Madam Web was a stepping stone for me to <laughs> to get in front of Sony and to pitch anyone but you. So she's very smart about her um 
what she's talking about it, but she knows that it was shit. <laughs> she's like, ooh. She knows it was, it was caca. Um, so, it, so you know how rom-coms were, like, so popular in the early 2000s and, like, kind of in the 90s? Mm-hmm. And then the early 2000s, like, there were Diamond Dozen, like, yep. so many. And they kind of died or off. Or they became corny. Like, it was, like, not yeah. the same. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. they couldn't make them the same. Mm-hmm. Like, they just weren't good. Well, they're saying anyone but you did so good in the box office. It's going to literally reignite no. a rom-com era for us. Well, I would love that if it was if yeah, they're actually good. Like totally. if they're good rom coms, I'm they in. They don't know the line between good and corny. I know they struggle with that. I'm like, y'all don't know. It's how a to tough make it. line. Yeah, it's a very tough. I'm like, line. just go watch because I've rewatched Sweet Home Alabama, Fool's oh, Gold, amazing. all those good ones with you, and Ooh, they're yeah. still great. Amazing, so I'm and like, I loved them first watch. So I'm like, just go rewatch mm-hmm. Babs and figure it out. Even the Wedding Planner, I watched that one on the Such plane. Such a good movie. So good. So good. And I'm like, J Lo, that's your best work, Diva. Honestly, yes. Diva, yes. And Selena, of course, but like, Correct. those are your best works. Correct. <laughs> I'm just. Sometimes I like to think. I like to put my hair like this, and then remember this 16 year old girl from the block. Her, uh... <laughs> Y'all, J Lo's going through it again. 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 Support from today's episode comes from One Skin. If you're like me and you're ready for warmer, sunnier days, but your skin, see your skin goes through a big transition between the season. No, not just on the surface, but at the cellular level. That's why it's important to nurture from the inside out with products that do more than just protect us against the sun's UV rays. One Skin's products are powered by their scientifically proven peptides called OS1. This peptide reduces the accumulation of damaged aging cells, the cells that make your skin less resilient and more prone to lines and wrinkles which obviously none of us want my god like i if i can find a skincare product that works great for my wrinkles and for fine lines that is something i am always into and that is what one skin does i've used one skin on my neck because i feel like i have like a little bit of like neck wrinkles and i want that to start going away so i'm really really excited to see results for uh one skin on my neck to just give me some less wrinkles One Skin is the world's first skin longevity company. By focusing on the cellular aspects of aging, One Skin keeps your skin looking and acting younger for longer. Get started with 15% off using code FULL at oneskin.co. That's 15% off oneskin.co with code FULL. After your purchase, they'll ask you if you've heard about them. Please show to support and tell them we sent you. Help your skin stay younger and healthier for longer with One Skin. Thank you so much to Liquid IV for sponsoring this portion of full coverage, you guys. Whether you hydrate to live or live to hydrate, Liquid IV quenches your thirst faster than water alone with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness all in a single sugar-free stick. What's your favorite flavor, Manny? Mine is lemon lime. Mine too, actually. You love lemon lime too. (laughs) I really do. It's so yummy. You guys have to try this one. Guys, one stick of Liquid IV with a 16-ounce bottle of water hydrate you better than just water alone three times the electrolytes than the leading sports drink no artificial sweeteners and zero sugar it also has eight vitamins and nutrients for your everyday wellness and it's non-gmo however you hydrate grab your liquid iv hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at costco or 20 percent off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code full at checkout that's 20 percent off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code full at liquidiv.com Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with our first topic. What's the first hot topic, Manny? Love is Blind Reunion. Ooh. We have to, like, spell. We we told them we would. <sighs> we would. I can't believe it. How they grazed over Jimmy Chelsea and Chelsea and- whenever they carried and were the entire show, pretty much. And then when it came to them in the reunion, they grazed over them like nothing happened. And like they were them trash? Questions. What was that? <sighs> Also, Laura, I'm so confused by that. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. And I get giving Sarah Ann like the front half of, course, of it. Of like I get it because that was like huge, huge and mm-hmm. it did need to be discussed, but they needed to discuss Jimmy and Chelsea as much as they discuss Sarah Ann and Jeremy and Laura. Yes. And the thing is, honestly, I don't give a fuck about the old cast. I know that sounds dark. I'm so sorry, but, but like it, they did not need to give them as much screen time at all. I'm like, give the current cast now. We need to figure out what's happening in this season. Do not go to them and be like, oh my god, like y'all get pregnant now. What the fuck? Like, girl, we don't care. I guess my thing is, is like, if you're gonna bring back the old cast and want to rehash all of their lives, do it at the very end, mm-hmm. or wait. If you don't have more time, 
Don't do it. Then don't do it. Don't do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if it was an hour and 30 minutes long, I don't know how long it was. It was like an hour? hour 30. So make it two hours then. Yes. If you want to add them. And if you want to include them. Because they cut the new cash short. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also feel like, I don't don't think they needed to dig as deep with, like, Sarah Ann and Laura. And, I mean, like, they did. Obviously, they did a good job. But, like, they didn't even have to go that far if you were going to take away from other time. I wanted them to dig that deep, but... Also on this and do the same for. That's what I'm saying. Like they, if like if, they, if them digging that deep took away time from Chelsea and Jim, like then it should have been more equal. How about how they read Trevor to Phil? <gasps> or that gagged and I. Nick I was Lachey. So, I have to give Nick Lachey and Vanessa props because I feel like as the seasons have gone, they've gotten better as hosts. Because like in the beginning, I was kind of like, all right. <laughs> They've gotten like they were fumbling the ball a little bit. Yes, but I feel like now they're like, they're oh, we're real- gonna really fucking go in. I was, we want this job. We want to keep this job. So they're, like, they're, they're doing clearly, a good job. And they're doing a good job. I have a feeling. I just have this like feeling that Vanessa was like, "Hey Nick, can you fucking say something?" Literally, he has go gone in. through all the reunions and just sat there and done nothing while she gets roasted because mm-hmm. she's had to carry the entire reunions, no, whether you like what she's done or not. At least she hosted. She's caring. But this time he came alive. They said, "Baby, you're gonna read those text messages with Trevor and his." ex or current girlfriend or whatever Tore the Trevor situation up. like the fact that Trevor went out there and he's like I I I don't know what to say <laughs> I'm toxic I literally was like what the fuck is he literally had a manual reset in his mind I'm gonna say something that's a straight man getting caught up he had he couldn't even defend so straight himself man caught, he, he literally no words nothing can I leave can I leave? And you and they, you know that they were like, no, you can't leave. But they didn't show that <laughs> until Nick was like explaining something more. And then he's like, now you can go. Yeah. So like they uh, they were like, no, you can't leave. You're gonna fucking owe us money if you try to leave, bitch. <laughs> um, but that was really cringe and so corny. And he, I don't feel like he owned any of his shit. He literally was just like, I'm sorry, like you know, I'm toxic. Like that's why I was saying, like I'm toxic too. I need therapy. I need help. Then why are you on a marriage show, sir, with a girlfriend? He's like, well, you know, we're just toxic together. And I really was in it for the right reasons. And whenever he would try to say all that, Nick would be like, uh uh-uh, then why do you do you say that to people you would marry? Because you told didn't he say like or no, I love you. He told a girl when he got out, he said, I love you so much. And And he was like, Do you just tell your lover? Like Nick was like, uh uh. Not letting him up. He wasn't letting him up. And I was like, that's why I was like, okay, good job, good job. Like, this is what you guys have to do. You have to you have to give us a little Andy Cohen. If you need to start give, giving, if you're going to host, you need to start giving us a little bit of Andy. We need Andy. Uh-huh. So I thought they did a really good job. I wish that they obviously dived in more. Um, and I don't have that part where like, that was so corny. In the beginning when they're like walking between the rooms and they're like, it's like the old couples and like, hey, and don't, like we're just here like fixing a button or like oh, doing yeah, something yeah, stupid. Yeah. And all it was like. Corn. <laughs> this is the corniest thing I've ever seen in my entire existence. But I'm glad that the old couples are like happy. A lot of them are happy. I also That's feel cool. like they didn't give Brittany and Kenneth every any Nothing. time. And I understand they weren't on the show for as long, but they were kind of a bigger part. Did you know how Brittany was like, finally, we're talking? Yeah. She was like, finally, it's our fucking turn. And like, they're like, okay, one question. All right, let's get out of there. I was like, give them some like, time I, to. I want to hear. And the fact that like they aren't together, like they are besties, but they're not together. And I think it's funny how Kenneth was like, I'm just like a really hands on principal. I was like, what does being a hands-on principal mean? I you did talk understand to parents every day? whenever he was like, I took three weeks off and like, sure. I and like Reese, Yes, 100%. But I'm like, but what do you, what do you talk about? It was suspect. It was something still very was, suspect. Something was fishy to Also, me. like, um, Chelsea is posting a lot of her and Jimmy still dating. And like, we didn't get to hear about any of that. That's so why I'm we're, pissed. Yeah, we're all like, so, I need so where are closure. you guys at? Yeah. I'm pissed. <laughs> Also, they're so toxic. I wish they would just break up. Me too. Chelsea and Jimmy. Me too. Like, just stop it. I mean, like, she's posted them hanging out, but do you think that it was for, Did like... Did you see her post yesterday? It's crazy. No, I didn't. It's like this love music, and she puts all the pictures of them together. It's, like, a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, she's trying to, like, allude that they're in a relationship. I'm like, Chelsea, are you doing this thing that doesn't need to be done? Yes. I feel like she might be. She's, like, very good at that, though. She doing is. Doing things that doesn't need to be done. That's Chelsea's She's middle very name. very good at that. Doing the things that doesn't need to be done. <laughs> Just like Sarah Ann who posted, y'all are going to see the truth. No. The fact that Sarah Ann and Jeremy have been together this entire time gagged They're me. And I'm like, y'all deserve each other. They are so miserable. I was gagged. They are so miserable. How about Jeremy having a fiance before he went on the show? No. The whole thing. And he was like, oh, no. Well, I told I told them that. That man is I was like, sick. no, something's weird. Something's so that weird about it. That man is no, sick. No, when Jessica goes like, you're a pick-me girl. 
when they started to go in on each other, I was like, <gasps> that was gag. I gagged. And the thing is, it's funny because like Jessica's like, bitch, I saw what I've done and it wasn't like amazing and I own my shit. Yeah, Jessica didn't do shit I'm like, girl, though. Come like, on. like if we're really talking about all the crazy shit we've seen on Love is Blind, like the other You're girl coming out, like Jessica didn't do anything like mm -hmm. compared to that. Like she no. also said that one clip of her at the bar, she drank way too much wine and uh -huh. she regretted that. Mm -hmm. And like you can kind of tell and it was just like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even mm -hmm. Chelsea and her are good friends. It was just like whatever. Very was, clearly. I agree. But like the thing is, even though it was just a, a whatever thing she still owned it oh yeah I'm and didn't try to like bypass it and play she was like, You're right. yeah and exactly so i just think it's funny how like they started going each other and i was like this is so weird like if i was sarah and jeremy i would be like i don't want to go to this reunion like please god like i don't want to be i feel here. like sarah ann was really excited to be there she, was, she, she wanted she wanted to shred she is constantly in the state of mind that she's in the right and mm. that she has so much to prove and so many people to win over and it never happens for her well, the thing is, if you're trying that hard, it never works. <laughs> I, I just, if I was them, I'd be like, I would have, I well. would have sat on the other side of the couch from Jeremy and be like, he cheated on me too, guys. <laughs> Throw him under completely. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say myself, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They're fucking coming <laughs> for crazy. me. I'm getting shredded. I'm no, just kidding. I'm I just also kidding. thought, like, I, I don't feel bad for Sarah Ann because, no. um, especially after, like, uh, she, they were like, do you talk to any of the girls? And they're like, no, we don't talk at all. And and then Chelsea's like, it's funny because you don't follow all, all of us, but you follow all the men. Also, I said, uh, that is nasty. Nasty. That is nasty. Because I'm going to tell you guys. something, you're going to be blocked. Block them. Blo I get my man's kind of like this. Uh-huh. You want to follow this motherfucker? I'm about to stay Not there, watch. Man. Uh uh, that's fucking weird. Girl, they were coming for her. Mm hmm. And I like that they had these had Laura call in. She couldn't be there. I want to know her. what I want to know. What country was she in? Spain or something? Yeah, it was like somewhere far. It was somewhere very far. Mm -hmm. How does someone look that good over a Facetime? Because she was prepared. She was snatched. I mean, mm -hmm. she got hair. I think she got hair and makeup. She could have gotten it out in there. In what other country uh -huh. she was in. She said, uh -uh, I ain't playing games. And she looks so I'm going to so look revenge body good. ready. She looks so good mm -hmm. over a FaceTime. And that does not do you any justice. No, at so all. I was like, honestly, Miss Carl, you did not come she to ate. play. She ate. No, and I, I loved that she was not letting like Sarah Ann or Jeremy up at all. She's like, I just like Laura a lot. I just like her. Do you know what's also really awful for Sarah Ann is the fact that Laura is very likable and she's also very intelligent. Yes, so like a Laura double. is a double. So mm -hmm. it's bad for Sarah Ann because th think of it this way. If Laura came in hot, it was like, fuck this bitch. It wouldn't this be fucking nasty brat bitch. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't feel, you would start to feel a little sympathy for Sarah because that's exactly. how it works. You'd yep. be like, Laura's a little crazy. Mm -hmm. But Laura's smart. She's very mature, and even whenever it gets nasty, she still stays quiet and mature, mm -hmm. and it makes you hate Sarah Ann so much more. Yes. The more, like, I feel like, to me, if you get rowdy and intense and crazy, I'm like, I automatically am like, ill. Mm -hmm. Like, you cannot articulate Even if you're well in the enough. right. Even if you're in the right. Even if you're If you're, in you're the getting right. crazy and loud and, like, rambunctious mm -hmm. and really, really intense with things, I'm like... I'm not going to want to take your side because you it's not coming across as someone who can articulate their words and their feelings in a, in the correct way. Like, or at least in an appropriate You're kind of like, who am I rooting for here? Exactly. So she was smart about it. She's very, she she very is. Poised. She's every time. Very poised. Every she's very time. Like, she's smart. So Jeremy lost a smart again. girl. Again. He lost again. No, he needs Sarah in there. Oh, I mean. You I, know what I mean? They, I mean, good luck to them. Good luck to them. Because I don't know how they survived that. Honey. Good luck to them. I would, I, I feel like we need justice for Chelsea and Jimmy for us. It also to see more low of them, key but... pissed me off too when Sarah Ann was like, because Nick was like calling her out. He was mm -hmm. like, why did Finally. you post in his bedroom? And she was like, I didn't know the internet was like FBI. A smooth. Girl, you did it on purpose so the internet would see you were in his we know, house. Girl, we know. Like, who are you trying to play? No one. Who is she, it? I mean, she's trying to play them. But ain't nobody, ain't nobody buying that. Girl, we know. I just, I didn't know that they would know. I didn't know that they're like gonna dig dig. You're on a very That's popular show. That's literally why you posted the TikTok. Of course. Goodbye. She tried it. Good night. Good night. Good night. <sighs> I'm ready for the next season. Um, me too. I this just like season, I just like more. The past few seasons have been so boring, but mm -hmm. I heard this season was their highest rated season. No, mm -hmm. I mean it was crazy. It was crazy. The clips were crazy viral on they TikTok. They can thank that Chelsea for that. They really can. They, they owe might want to shred her. They owe her a check. But they need to thank her for the amount of mm -hmm. press that she got them. They owe her a love is blind fat daddy check for that. Literally, she gave all the crazy, honey.
The clingy and she the crazy. Ate. She ate No, I up. also thought it was really funny that Sarah was like, they need a villain or like, did she say something like that? Yeah. She was like, oh, well, like, you're well, she was like, you're welcome. And I was like, girl, we didn't need you in the show. I had plenty with Chelsea and Jimmy. I did not need you there. Yeah, it was, it was enough. It was enough. I was good with them. Jeremy was enough of a dumbass on his own without no, her. No, when um, Jimmy was like, when he caught, when oh, yeah. he caught the sides of Jeremy, oh, yeah. and Jeremy's like, um, I don't want, I just don't want to be perceived like Jimmy. Oh yeah. And Jimmy was like, he got caught up. Okay, because it was like an exclusive clip that wasn't uh-huh, seen. Uh huh. He was like, not me catching fucking strays over here, baby. It was a good reunion though. Messy. I just wish it was more. I know people were like, it was so boring. I was like, I didn't really think it was boring per se. I just thought like we missed the mark. I we, missed we missed the, the mark. whole mark. Mm-hmm. But like other parts were interesting for sure. I think Nick and Vanessa are getting even better too. Vanessa was always good, but you gotta Nick give is them time. Better. You gotta give them, uh-huh. you know, time. Everybody's so harsh, and I understand the show kind of blew up, so it does have a lot of viewers. So you're expecting Andy Cohen, like Andy would have, of course, <laughs> would have been like, but he can't do everything. He, he can't, can't do it all. He can't. Um, so they're learning, and I think they've done a great job. Me I too. really do. I really do. It's gonna get better. I feel like it's it's, it's I moving in the right direction. Like them as hosts, and I was scared to say the past because it like, was so bashed. Mm-hmm. But the, they're good. Mm-hmm. They're good. They're they do a good mm-hmm. job. They do a good job. Nick needs to stick to hosting and not singing. Tell me how it feels sitting up there. Or uh, I can't believe you reacted right to that. Interview. I know it was nasty. You know I get secondhand embarrassment. It was so nasty. It was nasty. Tell me how it feel. That's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like. But I'm not a singer. I'm like, I get you sitting were. up there. Feeling so high. It was really cringe and really corny. Nick did that. Nick, I'm gonna need you to stick to hosting. Yeah, because you're doing great. You're doing great. Oh my god, I just got red. Stop. Some embarrassment. I did. Are we gonna talk about the TikTok man or what? Are we getting rid of TikTok? Everybody delete your TikTok. It's over. <laughs> it's over. You guys, I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do. Honestly, like, I'm a little concerned because obviously. House of Representatives passed that they were like, yes, we want to ban TikTok like immediately, right? And they they obviously rushed it. It was a very intense thing where it was like, it went so quickly. So now it's going to the Senate and if Senate passes it, Joe's already said, I'm, I'm signing. Uh-huh. I'm going to sign the bill uh-huh. if it goes through. And they're, what pisses me off the most about this. I do believe Joe's opponent also said he will sign. No, he said he would go against it. At one point, he At said, one point he he said, said it. it he, was he tried to implement it when he was in office. in office. But now he's doing the opposite thing where he's like, Oh, to get the I vote. Never, to get the youth vote. I would never get rid of TikTok, mm-hmm. you guys. Like, he's trying mm-hmm. to do the thing. Obviously, maybe if Trump, if he, go, if he goes back in, he's going to ban it. Uh-huh. Like he, of course. You, like we're he, not dumb. He's playing a game. He's playing the Literally game. Literally playing, he's playing the, game. the game. Um, But what's pissing me off about it is that they're trying to use the um the guise of China infiltrating our phones and our privacy and getting all this information about us instead of what it really is, in my personal humble opinion, allegedly, that they just want to silence Americans and they want what they want to be pushed only. And because TikTok is now, for people under 30, the biggest news outlet and news source mm-hmm. for people to actually get information about what's going on in the world. And I don't think that the and government likes that. And they have no control that. over have what's no control put over out it. there. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that they like that. And I think that they want to be able to control the media outlets and control like Fox News, all these different sources of information. So to you're getting these biased opinions constantly mm-hmm. instead of it being something where it's like an unbiased, like this is what's happening mm-hmm. the end. Mm-hmm. They don't like that. I think that's well, my opinion. Well, didn't even um, the TikTok CEO said that they would put all the data on American Soul. Yes. Um, not have it run through. Have not have even go to China. They basically did that to call their bluff. And it and it was called because America ignored it. Mm-hmm. America ignored it. They literally had said that if if that's the case, if they're so scared. By the way, there's no proof of this. Mm-hmm. There's no proof at all. Like there's no proof anywhere to be found about um, China hacking like our systems of. Like what's on our phones and privacy. There's no proof of like any of that. Uh, yet there's proof of it happening with Meta. Oh, that is true. That like is that's true. That's happened and mm-hmm. there's been breaches. But anyway, they they called their bluff and America ignored it. And now they're like, oh, well, it's all about privacy. We're going to pass this bill. You should buy in stock of Meta. You should buy Meta stock. How? Buy the stock of oh, Meta. Oh, just in general. Just yeah, Meta stock. Meta, it's called Meta. It's basically and uh, Instagram. Instagram's public market. Mm-hmm. Their stock. Cause they're gonna little... They're going to blow up. We all get a little, a little Once stock they delete TikTok, you should oh. go. It's expensive though. It's already at four hundred dollars a share. No way. I have a lot of shares in it. Shut up. Yes, they're gonna blow up. I believe it. 
Mm -hmm. I had thousands, I believe it. Um, and then you can get out and then they'll drop back down once every, the smoke settles. You pull, you but you know, everybody, every, everybody's going to rush over to Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, YouTube, which mm -hmm. is Google. But um, yeah, Instagram and Facebook is meta in the stock market. If you, you should buy in. I, I bet I do have it. Like I bet like I have, like I bet I do have some already. Like the fiduciary or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, doing mm -hmm, it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But Oh yeah, you probably do them. I probably do. But like regardless, it's still like very frustrating of a situation because the ceo has already said like you guys if it if it passes y'all aren't going to get tiktok like they're not gonna sell that's what they're trying to say the the bill is technically about we um china has to aquavest i think it's called like basically liquidate their portion of tiktok and sell it to someone in america it's not gonna American happen company. and china has already and tiktok said like it's we're not doing that they're not willing to sell their algorithm no but also what's interesting so like many was saying he's like i don't think it's the invasion of privacy i think it's more so the controlled media is mm -hmm. the issue china is controlling tiktok in their country though they're controlling exactly. tiktok is not mm -hmm. a free-for-all you can't exactly. just show and see and post whatever you want Tik mm -hmm. tiktok is like their instagram facebook where that media is controlled for mm -hmm. them and they know it's not controlled for us right so they know what this is like they do it to their own people in their own country they get it like they they do the same thing america's mm -hmm. doing you know what i mean so like they they understand what's happening Absolutely. that's why they're like, calling they all it. the bluffs like we're not going to sell it. Uh, we'll, we'll put the data it, they, your, they on know. your land and your soil. They know what this is. That's mm -hmm. why Instagram and Facebook is it in China. So the gag is truly like if Senate passes and it's like, yes, we are completely voting out. Uh, no <laughs> TikTok and Joe signs it. Babe. Okay. TikTok's gone for real. What is the percentage that you think TikTok will be banned? What are right now? Like what percent do you think? Now we're I'm like, I'm like a good like 60. <clears throat> I'm at like 85. I'm, I'm over. Oh, 85. Oh, my God. I got some phone calls and oh, yeah. these people careful. would not waste their time to call me mm -hmm. if they didn't think. Things could get fierce. I would say, yeah, maybe I would say more 70. I'm like more of a 70 of it mm -hmm. because I do know that there's people in the Senate that are like um, apprehensive slash like kind of questioning, like, why are we doing like something like this level for just one app? Like, it's like they know what it is. Like, it's like it's for TikTok. It's not for oh, applications from china it's like it's for tiktok mm -hmm. and so it's they know TikTok. that and so there's people that are like questioning it in the senate so that me get that gives me hope um but i am definitely worried about it because you know at the end of the day like tiktok is a fun platform i enjoy it a lot it's like something i really love doing and it's been a really nice avenue for me in like different ways than what i've done on youtube or instagram things like that so i want i want it to stay uh but i'm very nervous I'm it. nervous. I hate to see all the small businesses go down in flames. The, the jobs that would be gone from it. But they don't care about that. No, of course not. Like, they ain't even worried about that. Mm -hmm. The influencers, you know, income, it will shift. Like, no, but what about small businesses? Yeah, because, like, influencers are, like, influencers will lose billions. But I'm like, mm, I don't know that they would necessarily lose billions because all influencers are going to do is jump back over to YouTube Shorts, YouTube Long Form. They're going to jump back over to Instagram and they're going to just make all their money over there. Mm -hmm. I don't know that they would like, like, I feel like they're just going to pick right back up because I everybody. I think it's going to be the same. Yeah. I don't, I don't do think, think that. Do I do. Think it, I don't think that influencers that have millions and millions and millions on TikTok are going to have the same things on other platforms. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Like, I don't think that is the case. I think that a lot of times big influencers that have grown from TikTok in the past four years you know, they gotten really great in 2020 when it was like really popping thing brand new. They gained millions and millions, 20, 50 million followers. I don't think that it carries the same weight on other platforms. And if they're not doing that, like getting like those many followers and views, it's not happening on other platforms. Like it's just not like a lot of times those uh, TikTok creators, they're TikTok first creators so that's gonna be their biggest, most intense thing. And that's where they're gonna get their coin from. So now if they have to, you know, Fuck TikTok and the other ones. It's just going to be tougher. It'll happen. It's just going to take some time. It's, it's just going to be They're going to have to rebuild. They're going to have to rebuild, essentially. And it's not going to be Which as easy to sucks. rebuild because the algorithm is not the TikTok not the makes you go viral alg algorithm. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be really hard because I feel like YouTube, Instagram, they're very hard. How do you think it will affect you? as Because I know you are YouTube first, Instagram second, mm -hmm. TikTok third. I would say mm -hmm. like if I go to your socials, that would be your powerhouse lineup. Yeah, yeah. Powerhouse wise, 100%. So how do you think it would affect someone like you who's not TikTok first? It, I think it would be it would affect me more in like a personal way where it's okay. like I enjoy TikTok. Mind you, 
monetarily I still earn the most from Instagram and YouTube and exactly. the podcast. And we're like, just lucky to be platforms. honest because like if we we're blessed because mm-hmm. like we're, we're not like, oh, we were so smart to do YouTube first. No, it that's was just like did. at the time that we that's came up, was. that's what it was. So mm-hmm. we're just blessed. Like honestly, just that's lucky. Been a blessing. It's been a blessing. Mm-hmm. And I will say though, I will say it was a just a blessing that me and you chose not to abandon our other platforms mm-hmm. when TikTok got really big. We were like, totally. okay, let's do the TikTok thing, but let's also still feed the loyal audience who has mm-hmm. stuck with us on our other all platforms. This, all this time. So there's that too. I agree. I, I, I think that for me, what frustrates me is like mm-hmm. TikTok for me is a growing platform. Like yeah. a lot of people go on it. Like I grow a lot on TikTok. I get lots of views on TikTok. And like there's times on Instagram or YouTube I'm like not growing, not Yeah, gaining. but that's because of TikTok. Yeah, totally. So, so when it's, like, it's well, gone, they... that's not going to be your problem anymore. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. That, that's that could literally also because be a case. of TikTok. Mm-hmm. But regardless, I enjoy TikTok and I don't mm-hmm. want it to go. And I've put so much into it. Same. And I it, worked way too it, hard it on TikTok. Go, to, it's, to go. it's moving along great. It's, mm-hmm. I've worked so hard on it. Like I, I would, I hate to see it go. Like I hate, 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 hate to see it go because of how much I've put into and it. I feel like it's helped a lot of different things. Like I feel like it's helped my business. I feel like it's helped hundred percent me as a human being. Like my just the way I come across online. Like. I feel like it's helped so many th- different things and different avenues for me as a human. Um, just like how I feel like with the podcast too. Like I feel like I can be the most me here. Same with TikTok. And sometimes I feel like I have to put on like a little bit of a facade for Instagram, um, be more professional because like yeah. the brands are following me too. And same with YouTube. I feel like I have to be a little more professional-ish on there. Whereas TikTok, I can be kind of a fool, mm-hmm. you know? Yep. Personality so I'm nervous first. for it, but I do hope that it stays. Me too. <gasps> This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. You guys, life comes with a lot of problems, a lot of overthinking, Mm -hmm. and honestly, just growth and working on yourself. And a really good way to do that is through therapy. And therapy can sometimes be a little bit hard to obtain, but I feel like with BetterHelp, they've made therapy so accessible. It's completely online therapy, and it's just an easy way to connect and get matched with a licensed therapist within 24 hours. I'm a huge fan of therapy. I've been in therapy multiple times in my life. I think it's absolutely amazing especially like right now i'm going through this phase where i'm like trying to come off my ssris and i'm like i think i need to start going to therapy <laughs> <laughs> so i can like get off these and be completely fine so i think that better help is such a great um avenue for people who don't really want to go in person who want to be a little bit more private with things and mm-hmm. this can be a really really great option for people uh that want that learn to make time for what makes you happy with better help visit betterhelp.com slash full coverage today to get 10 percent off your first month that's betterhelp help.com slash full coverage Okay, what do you think about our next topic? We have Miss Kate Middleton. So, the last time she was seen was in December of 2023. And Mm -hmm. then in January, she went in for an abdominal surgery. This Uh is Kate Middleton. Now, it's March, and she hasn't been seen since that December. Technically, Mm -hmm. they did the post. And Mm -hmm. then we haven't seen her this year, essentially. And so, there's a big fuss. Like, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? So, then... I think she, I don't know the what photo. the month was. She posted a family photo mm-hmm. and it was like there were multiple hands and arms in the picture. It was a horrible Photoshop the photo. Photoshop was terrible. Terrible. So she took it down or whoever took it down mm-hmm. and they apologized mm-hmm. for it and said that it was bad. She's like, oh, you know, I just, I photoshopped it. My Kate was like, I photoshopped it. Myself. Girl, get out of her. I'm she, like, you she, do not have Photoshop. There's no way. You liar. She posts you cannot do herself. Adobe. I don't believe she posts herself. Mm-mm. Same. Oh, yeah, same. Like, she don't run that account. There's no There's way. Because no then, the, because then, how else? Like, why would it be such a, like this conspiracy? Of, like, where are you? Like, if it was really her running it, you would see her. You would see her. I'm like, there's just no way she runs her Insta or well, what, okay, her own also, accounts. On the complete opposite end, what do you think could have even happened? That like, I don't is, understand. Like, what is the conspiracy? Because the what conspiracy is, is, is that, that she's passed she's, away. Is, yeah, like, Stolen? what are y'all saying? What are y'all I don't saying? Get that is part. the conspiracy? Are, are they hiding her from us? But for what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you saying she passed away? Like, like what, what happened? What is the conspiracy? I know the conspiracy is so. So all this is breaking, and the internet honestly is creating a really big fuss for Huge. the royal family. So then she's automatically walking through a farmer's market, market out of nowhere. So that's really suspect because it's like, okay, you have all this big fuss and now she's in leggings and a shirt running out, through a farmer's nowhere. market. Like, like out of like what it seems like nowhere. Didn't it break through TMZ? Yeah, everything. Like every outlet. 
picks her up. talked about it. Walking through this farmer's market with her husband. Mm-hmm. But he's like wearing a really like low hat. Mm-hmm. You can't really tell. Like, Which they would wear mm-hmm. that if they were out in public at of a course, farmer's of course, market to cover. But it's hard to tell it's them like, right. because of it. And then she, so Kate. But why also, wouldn't she wear a hat then? Yeah. And then Kate also has a lookalike named Heidi. And they're look-alike saying that the person look-alike. at the farmer farmer's market looked way more like Heidi than Kate. So from the video I saw, I was like, "Oh yeah, like it looks like Kate." And then once I saw all that extra digging and like what the other girl looked like, I was like, oh, "It looks more like the other girl." Mm-hmm. To me, it did mm-hmm. look like it was the other girl. But I guess me and Manny's question is, why are they trying to hide her? What? Why? What's, like, I don't what get it. is the like? What's the purpose? What I, when I was thinking, I was like, "What if she's like." The surgery went wrong. She's like in a coma and they like don't want people to know. That's Well, really you know, dark. Russia announced King Charles is passed. Right. Russia literally right. announced that man has passed and they were able to be like, nope, he, uh-uh. he's still here. He's still here. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of crazy. But yeah, I guess me and Maynard are just kind of like, okay, if the conspiracy is true that the person walking through the flea market was her looking like Heidi, she's something's going on. What do y'all think the conspiracy is? Is I have to know, like, we have please comment because I'm curious as to what no one will say in the comments. No one will say where she they think she's at or what they think happened to her. All they talk about is that she's missing. So, what happened? Yeah, I'm so confused. Like, this is where my confusion lies of the of the whole idea of her being missing. But, like, okay, so then let's say she is missing. So, what happened? Did she get abducted? Yeah, was she taken? Like, I'm so Did the confused. surgery not go well and she's just on bed rest? Yes. Or, like, has, has she passed away? Has she passed away? But, like, what's the point in hiding that? Y'all got to come with that up with that eventually. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're trying to time it right. I don't know. I don't know. But the crazy thing is, like, all this could be put to bed if she would just, like, make a video. Of his AI. Well, then what she posted is never put it to bed. Like, is this just we never put to no, bed? That, that's that's the, the shitty part, too, about, like editing and ai now like all these crazy things like yeah it's like, they, it could actually she, be like, kate. showed up to an event or something uh, exactly exactly people taking photos with her like it would be a different case but also they were saying like why was she walking so fast in the video looking completely she was normal almost running walking like very walking very fast. fast like they were like if you had like a major abdominal tremor like she probably wouldn't be like h- trekking through like that I don't that was know. another thing i don't really know i was like huh I don't get it. Mm-mm. I don't get it. But that look like looks just like her. So it does. So. What do you guys think it is? Yeah, let us know in the comments because I understand the conspiracy. I just don't understand what y'all think is happening to her. I don't get it. Um. Okay. Next story is Cara Delevingne. Her gorgeous, oh gorgeous seven million dollar mansion burned to the ground. Burnt down. They did save her cats, so I think the firemen saved her cats because <gasps> she thought they were garnished too. It was an electrical fire, guys, and then the winds in the canyon she lives in. The winds got so strong it in made Sand Canyon. Yeah, where made, I used to live. It made the fire explode and burn that house to the ground i can so not imagine losing everything in a house fire and i know that that <sighs> actually happens to people mm. i don't want to say all the time but that that happens happen. to people that happens and like my heart honestly like i'm like damn no it goes off her so much like i'm like thank god she wasn't home and she wasn't trapped and also her, animals, in it. Were and her saved. animals were saved like that is like in the case of a, a literal house fire burning down like that's the best case scenario like yeah. you're not there and your animals are saved thank yeah. god yeah but like it's so sad and it's so devastating and like yeah. honestly wish her the absolute best like that's terrible it's terrible i can't i wouldn't know what i do. i genuinely don't know what i would I do i don't either i really don't either also, i'm not like that's crazy that's crazy that an electrical fire can start like that i saw crazy. a firefighter on tiktok he was like these are like the top three things i wouldn't do because mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. what i see causes the most Fires. fire so uh-huh. i was like oh let me listen up. What was it? Yeah, I'm curious. one was like not sleeping with your bedroom door closed because um getting people in and like not mm-hmm. being trapped in with the smoke it's like mm-hmm. smart to like leave that number two was and this is something i start live by never running big appliances while you're not home he was like do you have any idea how fast dishwashers dryers washers mm. they catch on fire these are huge appliances and he said don't run them when you're not home that way if something happens you're there so i would always run my dryer my dishwasher all of them while i'm gone they're quiet but i'm like i don't want to hear it and that yes. way when i get home it's all done and i can mm-hmm. just unload it all so that was actually something i did all the time on purpose and now mm. i never do that again like never 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 i make sure nothing's this is good. running I feel like this is good for them if they haven't yeah too. Like, so this don't is really run good. your big appliances and i don't remember what number three was 
That's well, as far one, as I got. But that, that was one stuck clearly with the one me. that stuck with you. So that's the one like, that really made the most sense for you. I don't even run my appliances, so we know that they have never been used. His appliances are actually brand new in his home. <laughs> You know, um, what's an appliance? I saw <laughs> I saw an influencer. I won't say who because I like this person a lot. But <laughs> they were like, I used my dishwasher the other day and I was shocked at how it washed the dishes. And I was like. You're going to have to tell me off camera who that was. So that's. What that's it does. What they, that's what it does. Okay, like even I know that's that, what it that's does. The case. Yeah, it, and you know I don't know how to make. They were like now. so surprised that it like really washed the dishes. <laughs> like that's why every home has one. Because they do wash well, hopefully. the dishes. Hopefully. Actually, I grew up with... Okay, did anyone else grow up like this? Up. Okay, we had one growing up, but it never worked. So mm. we used it as a drying rack. Got did, it, got I it. know there's other people out there. Mm -hmm. Our disposaler didn't work. Our air conditioner didn't work. Mm -hmm. our nothing fucking worked in our house, okay? We were one of those households. But we always used our dishwasher as the drying rack. Mm -hmm. So you'd wash dishes. and you just stack them there uh -huh. to let it dry and drip mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I know someone else out there has done that. Yeah, we have like we have we've had places that did have them. We have places that didn't. Yeah. So it just like kind of depends. And the thing is, like, do you know what's funny? Doing the dishes was my one chore I would never do. <sighs> and my brothers always literally hated me for it because that was the one chore I would bitch and cry and complain. I'm like, I can't. Like, I just like didn't like the idea of touching other people's food or like there was something really <laughs> freaky about it to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like touching like the leftover food on other people's plates. I don't know what it was. But I'm, I'm not kidding you. I literally had once had a meltdown, started bawling my eyes out. So I was like, I'm not washing the dishes. And I always got away with not doing them. And to this day, that's why Manny doesn't wash dishes. Tell him you don't wash dishes. I don't wash them. Yep. I'll literally just run the water like this. <laughs> I cannot. I'm just kidding. I, he ain't kidding. Just kidding. He's not okay, kidding. You guys, no, for real, for real, I have a cleaning lady. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Okay. She comes yep. and she also, she does dishes. Yeah. So I'm going to say that mm -hmm. and be, I am grateful be for her. Honest. I'm going to be honest and I love her. I love that. I love my little lady. I do a little of both. You know, I wash a dish. I'll load a dish. Mm -hmm. It's therapeutic. All of it to me. So the, 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 the I'll, I'll do any other tour. Like I'll take all the trash. I'll do, I'll do anything else. Vacuum, whatever it might be. The mm -hmm. dishes is one thing. If it's my own thing, I can handle it. <laughs> but if it's anyone else other than me, I can't handle it. Oh, Mandy Moore. I don't know why. I don't know why. Well, that's one thing I cannot do. You want to talk about Jay Logan Rack? <laughs> Every time it happens, it just cracks me up. Because it's so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so crazy. You guys, so J Lo. People want to hate J Lo so bad, though. So <laughs> okay, so J Lo recently, you know, had a movie that came out. Um, but didn't she Amazon. make this movie herself? She made it. She made it. And she put like her own funds into it. 20 million. 20! Her, her own 20 million into making it. Like she wanted to make a movie about her life. I want to be on the de level the level of Delulu that J Lo's on. I'm low key surprised though, like no network wanted to make this for her. Well, I mean, Amazon ended up like picking it up, so I'm sure you get she got all her money back. Oh, okay, okay, but, but she's but the she one fronted, that she, she fronted was the, the whole thing. In she it. made the movie. Okay, okay, but I'm okay. sure Amazon like bought the movie. Okay, that makes got sense. all the rights, whatever it might have been. Well, then she's smart for that. Then. Yeah, then she still like she made her coin. Hopefully, I mean, who knows? But <laughs> there's a clip going so viral of her <laughs> sitting on like a workout bench, and she takes her hair out, and she's like, sometimes I like to take my hair out like this because. It reminds me when I was 16, crazy little girl in the Bronx running up now the block. And she's like pulling her hair she's out like, crazy. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. And she like goes in a full movie mode, like documentary mode. She's like crazy little girl crazy running little up girl. the block. It is literally, and it's so funny because I when I watched that, I absolutely <laughs> cringed fiercely, but I didn't know that other people thought it was crazy too. The amount of TikToks I have seen, re, like, they're like, where is this block? Like, the block don't want you, girl. Girl, you use the block. You, you cannot keep you using the block. You ain't the block in 30 years. Maybe what block? Where is the this block? block? Is I want to know. The block is exhausted. It's exhausted. The block does not claim you anymore. Didn't you say there's a woman who still lives on the block? That girl, was like... there's a woman who, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's a woman that made a video she was like baby let me tell you something like i we went to the same high school i know who you are miss jennifer this block like girl this is not like a, some type of like crazy block thing like we went to an all-girls catholic school oh j-lo did yes like it wasn't this like <laughs> so obscene crazy like thing she's like we literally lived in like a i forgot what neighborhood they said it was but it wasn't like some like intense crazy neighborhood Damn. and it was like there's no like like this isn't a thing like this is there's no block like so now it's become this like super cringy viral thing of her being like you know crazy little girl the block is tired the block is and the, and the girl goes like the block don't want you the block don't claim you you've never done anything for us 
Damn. We, like, we're tired. Like, do not keep using us to look human. That's what she said. Oh. Do not keep using us to make you seem more human and yeah. more like, like you're trying to be like with it, with like, oh my God, like I was once on the block. Damn. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously she's Jenny from the block. Like, duh. Like, that's her always. calling card. And that's like who she's, she'll always be. But people are like, what is, where's the block? Yeah. What block and where 100%, is the block? 100%. I know someone that works really closely with J-Lo and they say extremely positive things about her. Really? Yeah. So they say positive things about her? Really positive. I've heard the la- literal exact opposite. I know. And from like so many people so and many. restaurants and waiters and just anyone. Mm-hmm. Like there's been a lot of negativity and it's like, oh, been so miserable with her. You know, there's like. But do you think someone that would work with her would not say that she's horrible? Um, This person would because they told me who is horrible. Got it. They were giving me, they were like, okay, these are the people who are horrible. Yes. And then I brought up, I was like, what about J-Lo? And uh-huh. they were like, well, actually, let me tell you this. And. They were basically hmm. saying, like, listen, she's I'm been, surprised. like, famous for a really long time. She does a lot. She lives in a different like, world, though. Like, she does. Obviously. She lives in a different world. Like, she does a lot. Like, she does tours and music and movies. Like, she, she does a lot and has done a lot for a long time. So, she's the type mm. of person that's just very, like, a boss. And it's just, like, yes. if you can't handle directness and, like, orders, like, you're probably gonna be, like, she's so like mean. Yeah. You know, but, like, she deals with, like, a lot of people. And, like, she's always so thankful. I don't know. They were, like, <laughs> they said a lot that i won't go into because i feel like um they shared that with me and i'm not gonna put it on the podcast yeah, but totally. i was just like oh wow and they were like yeah so they were like i actually love working with her and she's great so but that's awesome but they were like i'm used to powerful energy and people mm-hmm. being able to and not take everything personal and be like they were so mean you know she's like i'm more used to that so mm-hmm. i don't see it that way but if you're like not used to that you may think which that doesn't, that doesn't, you know, make J-Lo perfect just because one no, person sure. said that. But I, I was surprised. I but the was thing like, is, at the end of the day, like, for me personally, I like J-Lo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like J-Lo oh for, forever. Like, I, I really like I, her. I, I went think to her. Um, I went to her birthday the co- tour. The tour, yeah. It was, she is. She's incredible. She's an entertainer. She's a performer. She is a performer. Mm-hmm. Honey, that woman can fucking move like no other. And she was turning 50, by the way, when Crazy. I saw her. Crazy. She is such a good performer. Like, she is so, her stage presence is unreal. Mm-hmm. It is. Like, I, like, I loved her. Ever since, like, I watched Selena, like, I that was like what mm. introduced me. Like, Is that the movie do you remember that got Enough? Uh huh. Oh, yeah, loved that was enough. a really good movie. I forgot that one. Oh, that was a really uh, good movie. The wedding plan, like, I there was been so many moments, like, where J-Lo, I just like truly like loved JLo, and I've met her, and she was very sweet and kind to me. So I'm not like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, like, she's like, uh, like horrible, like, at all. Like, I actually really like her genuinely, but mm-hmm. this it's just funny that this is. Her getting wrecked because of this like little cringe clip, and I'm like, they love to, they love to they wreck love to her shred though. They love J-Lo. to shred her. Mm-hmm. So they love it. It was a little cringy angle. It was. It, it was, it was pretty like, rough. At the end of the day, <laughs> she's a crazy little girl from the run, and that's just what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys! That's our last topic. And that is it for today's rapid mm-hmm, fire. Mm-hmm. Come back next week because we have a special guest, which we're going to be deep diving with this person on <sighs> Manny's relationship <laughs> issue situation. Oh, <laughs> issue situation. I'm going to use that. That's my next header. Uh-huh. Manny, anyway, issue, issue situ- situation. <laughs> That's a good that's a good title or something. It's a good descriptor, I think, for me. <laughs> um so tune in next week. We got some exciting stuff coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. Don't forget to check out my launch. Yeah. Today I use Color Lee. Um and I will leave a link down below. Lunarbeauty.com. And let us know um what you think about the topics because I need to know. Tea. We especially, need more. especially the Kate Middleton thing. We need more tea. We love the tea and nothing but the tea, so help us God. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye guys. guys.